Hey man, I got money. What you want me to do? <laughs> hey man, nigga, get some cash around here. What you want me to do, baby? <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Hey, uh, hey, what's happening, uh, everybody? I honestly had no idea how to do the uh the background, and I was a little jealous. So I said, let me go in the 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 worst poorest looking room that I have in my place so I can look like a common man. So I, like, <laughs> so I can look like a common. I'm sorry, this is the worst I could do. I'm sorry, man. It was either this, do the shit on the roof or something. But I never knew how to do it. I don't know if it was a feature or something. So I just I just had to get this. But uh so yeah, I'm I'm glad to be a part of uh this thing here, man. I don't know if y'all noticed something. I've been sitting here watching uh everybody and this is the um the diversity show. I'm glad to be a part of the diversity show. I'm the fourth black person in a row on the diversity show. The four nigga in a row comedy show, diversity show. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't got, I ain't got no draws on right now. I just, uh, Reem was saying she had shorts on, nothing. I just got she t shirt and dick out. That's it. I'm just. Swinging free for the for the show, but I don't know the the level of diversity that this is supposed to be. Cause Reem, the young lady that's hosting, uh, I know she didn't really say what she was, but anybody that's not white is a nigger in the white man's eyes. So it's really it's really like four or five in a row. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? So I'm just I'm just here to do my part, man. Uh, I'm very diverse as well. I don't know if uh, I don't know if everybody got into this their background or not. But I'm uh, I'm diverse uh, myself. I'm one of the last few uh, black people in America that's alive. I'm a black man in America that's alive. I'm this is a small, small community of people, and I'm one of them. You know, uh, I'm just here to uh, represent my people because I watch these. Um, I watch like these. Uh, these I stay up real late and I watch these um, little infomercials, right? And like the white woman to come on TV and say, hey, look, it's only a, a thousand tigers left in in America. <laughs> I don't know if y'all seen these and I was like, hey, you, you need to donate so we can save a tiger. The tigers are dying. You need to donate. It's only a thousand tigers left. And you know, like I know, it's like, man, fuck that gay ass tiger, man. Like, don't nobody give a fuck about me. Am I right? Like, we, I'm like, what, what was the commercial for us? Like, black people are dying left and right due to police violence and racism, and we disenfranchised. Where's our commercial? Where's the commercial for us? I want that same white woman to come on TV for us and come on and do a do an infomercial for us just one time. That was really that's real change. You understand? Like, hey, I'm Sarah McLaughlin, and it's only a thousand niggas left in the United States of America. Uh, won't you donate today and? Save a nigga. And I want her to sing that song too. In the arms of I wanna I wanna acknowledge uh my guy Kells that said something. Uh I was listening to him and he said, uh, hey, I'm from Jersey and I live in LA now and uh, I got a new set of problems. Uh Jersey's bad, but now I'm getting gang banged. I was like, nigga, what? <laughs> 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 Everywhere. And I, I know. It's true. I, I know what he meant. I knew what he was referring to, but the way he said it, I was sitting there like, are you saying like eight to 12 niggas are having sex with you? <laughs> like back to back to back to back. Um, what else, man? Uh, there's a lot going on. I'm not afraid. I haven't really been, I, I got to confess, I have really haven't been. Uh, social distancing like I should. I'm really not afraid of, of everything that's happening right now. A lot of people going around wearing masks and a lot of people are, you know, saying six, six feet away from each other. But me personally, I'm really not scared, man, because um, I eat ass and uh, <laughs> it's, it's just not like, you got you to gotta put your immune system to work. You understand what I'm saying? But other than that, it's just, it's just dormant. My immune system has muscles. Do you understand? <laughs> just from, I, this is not something I started doing when it got popular in rap music. I was eating ass in 07. You understand what I'm saying? 
So my immune <laughs> system is like, is real strong. I'm pretty sure I've had the coronavirus at least 12 times and didn't know it. You understand? I've had, I've had AIDS three times. I beat it three times. <laughs> you know? And this is why I can afford to be on this electorist uh, profile, this throne that I'm on. But uh, I enjoyed y'all, man. And I thank the Flappers Comedy Festival for allowing me to come on and just talk some shit for a little bit. I'm Ken Boyd, and I'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all so much. Y'all be cool, man.